Hey man, behold the pedal board. I had a fuzz face and a uh, satisfaction pedal over here. I thought I'd replace them with a Spanish castle made by Solid Gold FX. Uh, the jury is out. It's supposed to be the combination of two fuzz faces. How could you not like that? Well, let's just check the, the, the deal. I'm playing a 63 SG Jr. through a uh, 79 Prince or, uh, Champ that I just got. There's the straight sound. Wow. Cool. Let's check out the wow. Oops. That works. This thing's kind of at an angle, so it's a uh, a little it's kind of hard to film a pedal board <laughs> all right let's check out the uh, box o rock i like this thing got it turned down a little bit oops yeah it's not working with the wah <laughs> Yeah, man, I like the box of rock. Now, the Spanish castle, it's got two fuzz faces, like I was saying. Let's just check it out. Crank it up just a little bit. Two fuzz bases. Let's crank it up. Every once in a while, I break the flanger out. I don't use that a lot. Let's put all three together here. The overdrive kind of helps the uh, fuzz. And here's a boost. Cool, and here is the Strymon El Capistan.
which, which simulates a tape deck. It's got the wow and flutter. I can reduce a little bit, make it a little cleaner. And uh, the tape, this is like an old tape. Tape age, go clockwise. It's older tape. Now we'll make it a, a clean tape, a fresher tape. Put that little wow and flutter in there. Then we've got a uh, Flint Strymon, or Strymon Flint. This has got a reverb setting. That's the 70s, like a plate reverb. The 60s is supposed to be a spring reverb. Sounds springy, and the 80s is like a digital sound. I kind of leave it on that 70s just because it's supposed to be like a plate. If you make the decay really long, it does kind of stay there. Oops, shoot. Meant to hit an F there. That was like a Climax Blues band uh, intro to a song we used to love. I haven't played that in decades. All right, then we got a tremolo over here, which is... This is set as a 63 tube. It's probably, I don't know what that means 61 harmonic or a 65 photo that's like a, a blackface fender <laughs> 61 harmonic 63 tube I think that's like a brown face Maybe the 63 tube is a brown fit. No, have to be the 61 harmonic, which is a brown face style. If you mix that with the uh, reverb. Let's add the digital delay. Thank you. 
show you the amp while we're at it just for fun if you like to see the amp it's a uh, 1979 champ i got it turned pretty quiet i turned up to about a little over two very nice amp for playing in the house or actually i played a block party <laughs> saturday night like a socially distanced block party and i just picked this up from uh, I had it kind of gone over by my amp guy and uh, he did a little bit of work on it to make sure it's safe and all the tubes are good and uh, man I just cranked it up to five and blasted this neighborhood with this thing it was okay then I got this like Vox Cambridge which is solid state which is fun for kind of a different color amp sitting around here and then I play through this. Uh, this is a Mojo Deluxe Brownface Project Amp that has a little bit of a hum issue. So just wanted to show you, take a little time to show you my crazy pedal board. And, uh, you know, it's taken me many years to put that together with, you know, different things. I change it, is what I'm trying to say, from time to time. This guy just say, it takes a place of two pedals, so I was trying to make it a little lighter, maybe. It's also got these uh, input switches, which helps you with the, uh, the bias problem, or whatever it is. When you use a wah, sometimes it, it interacts with other pedals badly, and this makes it so you can set it to where the wah works and doesn't screech, and does what it's supposed to do so that's another reason i got it but uh, i don't really chase a lot of pedals anymore but that's what i got man the notes are more important so i guess i'll say goodbye thanks for watching see ya